guys, it's Johnny Tech Review. Today I have a quick review for you of this uh, Rizu MP3 player. As you can see here, this is a small little MP3 player. It's made out of plastic and you have this nice little small color screen here. Along with the unit, you also get a small little micro USB charging cable. And then you get a, this little menu here, but everything is in Chinese, so pretty much useless. You kind of have to figure out how to use the device yourself. So let's take a look at the unit itself, as you can see here. Uh, kind of remind you of the small little iPod Nano. Uh, you can see here, you have your menu button here, the volume button, the track forward and backward button. This is also your navigation button. There's the play pause button right in the middle down. There's the small little screen. It's not a very high resolution screen. I'll show you that in a minute here. In the back here, you have the model, this is the X02, and at the bottom here, you have some more information. model here has 4 gig of memory uh, internally, and you can also add a micro SD slot right here, up to 32 gigs if you choose to. At the bottom here, you have the headphone port, you have the on-off switch, there's a volume button, and then there's the micro USB charging port right down. So let's just go ahead and power on the unit. I want to show you the unit here. Take just a few seconds to boot up, just like that. And right there you go, you're ready inside. When you turn it on, it will resume your last song. And there you go, uh, it's playing music right now. And you can see this fake equalizer here just does that. So you can pause it right now. You can uh, go back by pressing this menu button here. That takes you back. Here you can do some uh, changing of play mode, sound setting. You can change to a different equalizer. You can also set a sleep timer and delete that song or bookmark the song. So you press volume here. You keep pressing volume. It will take you back to your playlist. And if you go back more, you keep pressing volume. That's basically your backward button. You can uh, traverse up and down the list by pressing the left and right key here. A little bit awkward uh, design. Not no more like your typical iPod, but you can see here. Uh, you can just browse them, press OK here to advance in and then just uh, press uh, volume to back out to change the volume just have to hold out the volume button for a second and then you can just change the volume just like that and press ok again to go back you can see there on the menu just kind of give you an current menu where you are I load a bunch of song on here I have some mp3s and then I have some flag file and uh, this unit will play flag file with no problem at all back and out here you get to this menu and you can see here keep back and out just a little bit more this is the standard menu you get when you lock into the unit I was under a photo so it showed me a different thing but you can uh, browse to the different menu here you press music it will take you right back to where your song album you can create all these different things right here uh, you back out you can go to videos video format is supported this amv file uh, i didn't use this at all because it was actually kind of tough to find a good amv converter so i didn't really care for it but you can see there's a sample file here it'll play a little sample video as you can see right now you can see a little bit of color kind of a little bit of wash out right now but anyway we can back up out here a little bit next you have the fm feature this actually works pretty well uh, it will pick up some FM station, you can do a auto-tune and then uh, after that you can just listen to your FM station. It didn't use the headphone or the internal uh, antenna somewhere but it does pick up um, FM signal pretty well. You can actually do recording also so it will record whatever you're listening to which is quite nice. And next you have pictures which you can go here and access those pictures. I dumped some on here. Uh, by the way to uh, dump file here all you have to do is just uh, plug it into your computer. It will show up as a USB stick and then you just dump some file onto it pretty easy and then uh, the player will pick it up and you can see here some pictures and me and my kid there's some more picture of my kid you can see look decent not bad uh, not the best screen in the world but it works quite well for what purpose anyway we can just back out here uh, next we have recorder this is where you can do sound recording and uh, you can uh, record using the Bjorn microphone right out so that works pretty well also and then you have ebook it does uh, I believe just text file and here's some random text file it didn't even show up properly but there is if you want to do text file reading you have photo again too and into here you have calendar stopwatch and alarm as you can see right now finally you have setting these are some of the settings you can change just in here sound date timestamp language uh, some more information you can format and reset the factory here so that's just uh, basically the quick overview you just shoot it uh, as far as the sound quality and yes uh, when I plug in this into a normal wide uh, pair of headphone the uh, sound come out very nice there was no hissing noise anything like that uh, I load a bunch of song on here on a recent trip and uh, on the airplane it was just very easy uh, because I didn't have any uh, music on my phone I had to just usually stream them so I use this as my uh, mp3 player and I uh, just load up a bunch of song put on a pair of headphone and uh, it was very relaxing and also it was very light which is very nice because you can just have it dangling by the headphone cord with no problem at all so overall it's a nice little mp3 player 
a very cool interface, very easy to use, and there you go, the screen share will actually turn it off. You can add more space by just expanding with a micro SD card right now. Place your MP3, so your compression, so it play not only your compressed format like MP3, WMA, it also play a flag file and it works quite well. Battery on it is quite good. I play MP3 for over a week and a half now and the battery still look like it's full, so quite impressive. So I hope you saw a little review. So I hope you showed a little review helping your purchase decision. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment below. And as always, stay tuned for future reviews. Thank you.